What's up everyone and welcome back to episode number two of our Project Ozone 3 Let's Play. Uh, now if you didn't watch episode one, it was uploaded yesterday, um, I essentially just explained a little bit about the beginning of this series, where I've been for four years uh, since my last uploads and um, we just got into some of the beginning quests. Uh, so if you haven't seen that, I recommend you go check it out. Um, now if you did watch it, you'll know <laughs> at the end of the episode, while trying to hammer some cobblestone, I vein mined my entire platform. Uh, but as you can see here, I farmed some cobblestone in between this episode and last one and extended out the platform uh, three blocks each direction from this nine, or three by three dirt square to begin. Um, what I also did between episodes is uh, waited for the lava. Our, uh, we made this crucible with our torch uh, heat source, put some cobblestone in there, and it made a bucket of lava, which I have in this crafting station, as well as a bucket of water. Um, so I had the clay, made the clay buckets, and now we have a cobblestone generator, which is going to be extremely nice to have. You know what I'm gonna do? I think let's see. Let's see if this recipe is implemented. If I can get yeah, I can get four chests that just to get just to get a few chests, because I know we'll need them eventually. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plop our cobblestone generator down, put a chest on top, and now we're just gonna get cobblestone. Um so that's going to be extremely useful now. I don't have to right click on the ground a bunch to get cobblestone, which is definitely very nice. So We'll go ahead put that back. I don't really need these pebbles anymore, but we'll keep them anyway. So yeah, now we're just passively generating cobblestone, which is awesome. So we can go ahead and claim the rewards for that. And you can also upgrade the cobblestone generator, and that essentially will just make it produce cobblestone faster. So this is going to take eight iron. Now this is where we're going to need to get into some sieving. Um, so I also uh, placed all nine uh, of our sieves down with some mesh, um, but currently these string meshes aren't going to get us any really valuable resources that we want, such as ores and metals and things like that. So what we need to do is upload, the, or not upload, but upgrade those to um, flint stiffened meshes, which will allow us to get iron. So I'm going to go ahead, actually, I'm going to compress this uh, gravel to make some compressed gravel and this is all the gravel that I got from uh, vein mining my entire base but if we go ahead compress that we get compressed sand uh, and so actually I did not want to do that I wanted the gravel damn okay that's a bummer let's just go ahead and get because I want to use gravel to make flint um, so let's actually go ahead and compress this cobblestone. But now that we have this cobblestone gen, it's it's definitely going to go a lot quicker. So I'll just go ahead and uh, place those down. And now we have a bunch of gravel. So we can take this gravel, and I believe, yes, so we can just get flint by converting the gravel directly into flint. Three gravel is one flint, and I believe it takes six flint to upgrade uh, one of these mesh. So I'll go ahead, take some of these out, and I believe it's just, yep, just like that will get us some flint stiffened mesh. So we can make three of those. So let's go ahead, put these. And it also looks like that was a quest somewhere. Yeah, so flint mesh, claim that. So if we look at, um, Go back into the quest book, click on this, uh, and if we look at the uses for this, we can see if we sieve sand, there's a 100% chance to get iron ore pieces. So I just made a bunch of sand, which is good. So we can just go ahead and sieve some of this down. Um, now what I'm going to use my first iron for, I think, is to simply just upgrade that cobblestone generator because the more cobblestone we get, the more we'll be able to, um, 
the more iron we'll be able to collect, the more other resources we'll be able to collect. So that's definitely something we're going to want to do. Now I'm just going to sieve the rest of the sand, and then I think what I'm going to do is get more cobblestone to get more gravel to get more mesh, uh, to get more uh, flint, rather. So if we take another stack of cobble, yeah, this is great. This is way better than having to right-click the ground for a bunch to get a bunch of cobblestone. And it also looks like we're going to need to make another hammer soon. So we'll take some more gravel again and make it into flint. Now this should not probably be enough to um, upgrade the rest of these mesh, but we can still get quite a few more. So if we just take half, go up there, these half go up there. So it looks like we can actually upgrade another one. Now I don't know if there's a good reason to keep um, a couple of these as just regular string mesh. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and probably leave those two as string. But we have seven. Um, we have seven that are flint stiffened now. Now if you look here, we have a bunch of iron ore pieces. So what we can do is simply smelt this down and get some iron ingots from that. Which is going to be extremely nice. I'm going to go ahead and make some more um, tiny charcoal as well to put into our furnace here. Now this is great. So let's look at the quest book here just to see the next quests we can do. Again, we can upgrade our cobblestone generator, which is what I'm going to do with our first uh, eight iron, definitely. But it looks like we can get into tinkers here with these patterns, or we can look at a bonsai pot. Now, a bonsai pot, what I understand, is essentially just is a tree gen uh, in a mini form. So let's go ahead and, and actually get on that quest. So we'll look at the recipe for the bonsai. And then the hopping bonsai pot, which I think requires a hopper, allows us to automate the bonsai pot. So let's go ahead and look at this recipe here. Looks like that's just um, five bricks, which is clay. So do I have saplings on me? I do. If we get some more water going here and we get some dust, I'm just going to take some more of this. Maybe compress it just to make this quicker. And I'm going to turn all of this into dust just to have it. Uh, we don't need that much clay. That's why I'm making the dust is so that we can get clay. And put the clay in the bucket here, or the crucible, in order to get more uh, water. Or not water, but put the dust in there to make clay. That's what I meant. So now we have some dust. And what we can do, we'll need those two, actually no, I can use the clay bucket now instead of those bottles, which is going to streamline this a little bit. Sorry if you guys heard that, that was my lizard in the background crawling around. Uh, hopefully he chills down for a bit while I'm recording. But we have one clay here, and we're going to need to put some more saplings in here, get some more water. And while I'm over here, I'm actually going to put some more cobblestone in here to make more lava because it's always good to have more lava. Eventually we'll be able to upgrade the heat source under here so that it makes lava a lot quicker, uh, which is going to be nice. But let's see how much we have another bucket. So we'll get more clay. And I actually think, yeah, I do have clay in here. Oh well, you can never have too many resources, right? But we'll go ahead and turn both of those into clay. And I even had extra clay balls in there as well. Oh well. Alright, now we have our iron, so we'll go ahead, take our cobblestone gen, and boom, make a iron one. So we'll claim the rewards for that, and as you can see we're making cobblestone quite a bit quicker. I think that doubles the speed uh, from standard, so this is great. Um, but let's go ahead and you now I should probably invest in a better either more or a better furnace now from what I understand we can also use iron to create an iron furnace which reduces the cook time of the furnace which is definitely something we're gonna want to do so do I don't have enough iron uh, as of now but what I can go ahead and do is just I'm just gonna take all of this and make some sand 
from this cobble. And that didn't go well. I don't know what happened there, but so we should be able to use all this cobble. Probably going to need to make another hammer soon. But yep, look at that. So let's go ahead and make another hammer. I believe this was the recipe, and I don't have any cobble, but that's no issue now. Yeah, and I'm actually going to just make two if I have enough sticks, which of course I don't, but I can go ahead and make some. So now we'll have two hammers just to uh, have them for the future. Mine the rest of this. We'll take our gravel. Well, although let's look, let's look at a sieve. Let's see what this does. Uh, not that uses. So, what we can do with our flint stiffened mesh here, if we do dust, we get a bunch of dusts as well as iron. If we do sand, we can get. We still get iron, which is really the main thing we want now. I just don't know if there's any benefit of sifting gravel, sand, or uh, one or the other over. Actually, I think we should probably go with the gravel because we can get lapis and coal and stuff like that. And platinum. So yeah, let's actually go ahead and take this gravel. And we'll just go ahead and sift our gravel in there. So let's go ahead, sift some gravel. This will allow us essentially really just what we want now is more iron. Uh, getting more iron will allow us to make a hopper, which we'll need for the bonsai pot, as well as upgrade our um, furnace to smelt faster, which is always nice. So we'll go ahead, sift this stuff. This should probably be enough. I probably don't need to do all of this, but and yeah, I'm already extremely full on inventory, so. We'll go over here, take our iron. Is that iron? I think that's iron. And so we got our bricks. We're going to need those. We'll put those in there. So yeah, if, I think if we make this, we'll get the bonsai pot. Now, the other thing we're going to want to do, let's continue sifting a little bit. I think I need to figure out how to make that noise softer. I thought I lowered, oh god, I thought I lowered some settings, but I didn't. I'm not going to vein mine this again. <laughs> it's a little bit unfortunate. I probably should not have my builder's wand on my hotbar because this is going to happen when I have cobblestone in my inventory. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do this. I tell you what, I think I'm going to cut here. Um, I'm going to go ahead Get some more cobblestone, get some more gravel, and sift it through here. Just to get some resources established, I'll probably make another chest to store our uh, ores and resources and things like that. And then uh, once I have enough resources, we'll come back and continue questing on. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. And I essentially all I did while I was away was I extended the platform um, out five blocks from each side of the dirt. So we just have a little bit more room to work. Uh, I also ended up, as you can see here, upgrading all of our meshes in this 3x3 to iron stiffened. Um, I, I have one mesh with the regular, um, regular or one sieve with the regular mesh, string mesh, because we're going to need to use this to sift dirt later. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, while I was gone, I sifted uh, a stack of compressed cobblestone worth of gravel through this and got a bunch of resources you can see here I made them all into their different chunks so we have a bunch of gold a bunch of iron uh, and I also used some resources specifically the iron to um, up upgrade our um, I made another furnace and I upgraded both of them to the gold tier so they're gonna be cooking quicker uh, and using fuel more efficiently which is always nice so um, what I want to do now is, let's clear this search result, is, um, so I don't know if I did it on camera, but I also made this bonsai pot. Um, now if we go to alpha and look at the bonsai hopping pot, um, this essentially is just the bonsai pot with a hopper, which is very doable for us. 
I'm gonna go ahead. Oh no, I have five chests on me, so I'll go ahead and take one of those. Take five iron. Go ahead and make a hopper. And we'll take the bonsai pot and the hopper and get a hopping bonsai pot. So we're also gonna need a piece of dirt with this. Um, now if you guys don't know what this does, where should we put this? Um, let's just put it over here. Uh, so we can put the, bo the bonsai pot on top of a chest and if we put dirt in here, and a sapling in the dirt, this will automatically grow um, trees of the sapling that you put in. So as you can see, um, you can see in the tooltip there, the percentage uh, growth is increasing. So it takes, I don't know how long, a decent little amount of time to grow a full tree. And once that tree is fully grown, we get a random reward. So I believe what we can get from this are saplings. I believe we can get apples from this as well and uh, just wood so uh, this is essentially almost like a cobblestone generator but for wood and probably quite a bit slower so we can just automatically um, go ahead and process wood which is great um, and definitely useful um, because we are going to need wood obviously for crafting recipes throughout this um, so yeah now I'm just gonna sort of do this so that these will be able to fill in um, as this thing generates. Um, another issue I've found is that uh, our cobblestone generator is producing quite a bit uh, so it would be really nice I don't know if it's available but to have a compacting drawer let's see though that requires redstone which we don't have yet I could definitely get it though uh, if needed if we look for the sieve here yeah so dust on that gives us a 12 and a half percent chance to get some redstone. So actually, should we go ahead and make this? I'll hold off on um, on making that for now. I might do that off camera or at the beginning of next episode or something. Um, but meanwhile, I want to go ahead and claim the reward for that. Um, I wanted to look at maybe getting power generation set up. I honestly really don't know um, my way around these quests or this mod pack at all. Um, but getting into thermal expansion and all of these with the jetpack uh, and different types of upgrades would be nice. Also, this Ender IO would be really nice. Um, so I'm not sure. I believe, like I see here in the alpha tab, we can auto sift. I've never used this. I might have to go and research how this works. Um, but setting up auto sifting would be very nice. I don't know what that entails, but getting some sort of power generation would be ideal. Now it doesn't look like there's the dynamos or anything like that. I wonder if they have uh, like thermal expansion stuff. Oh, so they do have it. Um, and it looks like the recipes are pretty f I'm familiar with what these are. So um, getting these would allow us to generate um, power, which is something that is obviously nice to have. We can potentially automate different things once we do get access to power. So. I wanted to start going, uh, go ahead and heading toward this uh, thermal expansion questing. Um, now it looks like we need a crushing table quest before we can get to that to unlock those quests. Um, if we can find that crushing table quest, maybe we could do that. So here it is. Um, if we go ahead, favorite this. This is just some aluminum, some stone slabs, and some planks. Now, we should have aluminum in here somewhere. Yeah, we do. Uh, how many was that? It was three aluminum, so we can go ahead and do this. Smelt some of that up. Now, I am aware that we're only getting one ingot per ore chunk um, in these smelters. And I do believe that Tinkers doubles the ore you can get. So maybe going through Tinkers uh, would be a good start before we go into this. But I also just really am not, <laughs> I don't really want to get into doing these multi blocks and then getting the ingots and the molten metal out of the smeltery takes quite a bit of time. So if I can avoid doing that for ore doubling, I definitely am going to. Uh, I'm pretty sure we could just again once we get to thermal use like a pulverizer and send that through um, a furnace to 
to double our ores. So once we get power generation with this, we'll be able to do the same thing uh, at the cost of a few resources now, but that's okay. So I'm also just gonna go ahead and start smelting some cobble for some smooth stone. Definitely gonna need to uh, upgrade this to a compacting drawer soon. Um, I'm not actually 100% sure. I'm hoping that this just stops generating cobble once this fills up, but we'll see. I guess what we can always do is um, go ahead and just make a bunch of compressed cobble. In the meantime, let's free some space up. But anyway, we'll go ahead and get our stone here, and we will make some slabs here and we need some planks and we can probably from there go ahead see I don't like how these this connects to the chests because I lost my crafting station but because that um it hides your favorites so I'm gonna go ahead and make another one I'm just gonna put it over here on top of this whatever oh, it's connected to a chest as well of course here. Alright, so if we can probably go ahead and make our crushing table now, that should open quest. So now we can go ahead and start our thermal frame. And now it looks like this is the machine frame for pretty much every single um, every single machine in thermal expansion. Now we're going to need 10 ingots for this. Uh, so yeah, we're definitely wasting some resources by not doubling our ore right now. Uh, which is not a good thing per se, uh, but it's also fine. I'm probably between after this episode. I'm going to again, um, maybe even set up another sifting uh, station and just or add more sieves to this and um, sieve a bunch of resources to get even more resources. But if we go ahead, actually, let me unfavorite these guys. We don't need those anymore. But yeah, you can see here we're getting a good amount of. Uh, stuff in here. So let's go ahead and look at our quest book again. Yeah, so this machine frame again will unlock so many machines. Every single thermal machine it'll unlock. Um, obviously, before we get these machines, we're going to need to look into dynamos. So if we get, I'm thinking a steam dynamo is probably our uh, our good a good um beginning power gen so I'm gonna go ahead favorite our steam dynamo and we're gonna have to look to see if there's any sort of um, power conduit now there's the ender IO which I believe would probably work but what are they called the let's just look at thermal the mod thermal here we go flux duct that's what they're called it's been a while I'm not I'm not uh, up to date on my my recipes and terminology but Again, this is going to require redstone, but that's definitely doable for us. Um, I believe that was, was it sand that we sift to get redstone? Um, uh, dust, it looks like. So yeah, we can just do dust, which again is easy. As a matter of fact, well, let's just take a couple. Um, no, I'm going to do the compressed cobble, actually, because that has a lot lower chance of... Or has no chance of potentially having another vein mining disaster on our hands, which is always nice. So yeah, we'll go ahead, vein mine that, get the gravel, and again, we probably don't even need this much. Whoops, don't want to place that down. But um, go ahead and get our sand, and then this sand we can go ahead and compress or a uh, hammer rather into our dust so yeah I'm actually just going to uh, sift some of this we'll see how much redstone we get uh, again I just want this redstone so that I can make these conduits and other thermal machines so yeah we already have four redstone which is nice I'm just gonna go ahead and sift probably the rest of this here really quickly maybe not even the rest of it we have seven redstone already just from that, as well as a bunch of other resources. Yeah, this gets you iron too as well, it looks like. Alright, so yeah, that'll be plenty. We'll go ahead, get all this stuff in here. Now we have our redstone. 
let's see our tin is done our tin is done so yeah let's go ahead and make one of these uh, machine frames here so we need a tin gear we can do that easily now let's see now that dynamo does not require a machine frame so we won't need to make two tin gears the other thing we're going to need is glass I do have some glass um, already from prior smelting but what we should do let's go ahead and just yeah this is definitely I'm definitely going to need to make a platform out of some material that doesn't require me um, or that won't that's, that's pretty unique so that it won't um, there's no vein mining risk but we'll go ahead and take some sand I'm just going to go ahead smelt all of this sand down get some more glass cooking just for the future so it looks like we just need some irons which we have some glass and a tin gear so we should be able to create this now which is going to get us that quest so it looks like I guess I guess there's no um, there's no reward for that quest which is fine um, but before we build any machines um, let's go ahead and build a flux duct which I believe we should have all of the resources for now yes yeah, so we have redstone it's gonna require six redstone some lead which we have I have to look for a better way to get lead all right we can probably stop these Go ahead and make some lead. Only need two for the recipe and some glass, which obviously we have now. So we'll get two of our lead here and make some flux ducts. All right, so six should be plenty for now. Uh, and now let's look at how to um, how to go ahead and make the steam dynamo. We're going to need copper for this. It looks like quite a bit. So we actually only have 14 copper. It looks like copper does not drop um, too abundantly uh, from sieving which is a little unfortunate again um, not being efficient with these resources right now but once we get the pulverizer and our redstone furnace set up it's going to be um, it's not going to be an issue so let's actually go ahead and favorite the pulverizer like that and our redstone furnace furnace here we go all right so we have those set up let's go ahead and get some of this copper I'm hoping a copper gear is the same as a tin gear yes it is how many of those oh man I hit the wrong button dynamo I unfavorited that by an accident so we're gonna need just one copper gear for that we're gonna need some redstone probably some silver now actually so let's take our redstone Let's find our silver ore here. So yeah, we'll go ahead and smelt some of the silver up. Definitely gonna need some more redstone, but hopefully we have enough. So let's go ahead and make our dynamo here. Yeah, that's gonna require the silver and two redstone. We have that, but we'll go ahead and take our copper gear out. Uh, no, no, that's wrong. And make our transmission coil there and two iron and two copper and it looks like we should be able to go ahead and do this so now we have ourselves a steam dynamo perfect oh the other thing I did not consider with this is uh, is the water we're going to need to use so um, for now we'll go ahead and just use saplings which, how many of those do we have? We don't have too many saplings, actually. You know what I should do um, off-camera between the next episode is... No, that's going to make dirt. I wanted it in this one. So we're just going to make some water. Then I'll make an infinite source, because I do have a clay bucket still. I believe. Yes. So yeah, we'll go ahead and just take some cobble and... Um, whoops not there but there yes yeah, so this will allow us to make no that's gonna <laughs> it's gonna destroy my bucket 
Alright, um, definitely going to need to make another clay bucket. That's okay, we can do that very quickly here. Just get that fired up. Alright, so now that we have our dynamo, we're going to get water. In fact, let's add some more. This can hold more water. And then we'll just get an infinite source in the corner there uh, for now. So we have our dynamo. If we can make a redstone furnace, we're going to need more copper for that. We might have not have enough copper uh, for now. So let's see if we actually do. That's going to require two copper gears. And does the pulverizer also requires two copper gears? So we're not going to have enough copper, unfortunately. But we really don't need this furnace yet. Um, so let's just go ahead um, to wrap this episode up. Is make we're gonna make a pulverizer and just have some basic power generation set up. So let's go over here. Actually, firstly, let's let's go ahead. We have our dynamo. Let's go ahead and make our pulverizer. So we're gonna need a piston for that, which we can do. We have enough redstone. We need some iron. We're gonna need some some wood, which I'm just gonna make some more of here. And cobble, we have plenty of. Whoops, did not mean to do that. So let's go ahead, look at our pulverizer, make one of those. And flint we have, we're going to need another machine frame here, which is going to need another tin gear. Do we have tin? We should have tin, right? Yes, I made another gear's worth. So that, and then glass and iron we have. We need a little bit more iron here. We might need to smelt some more of that down. Whoops, wrong way. Yeah, so we'll start smelting some iron down. And we have some glass on us. So we'll go ahead, make our machine frame. Oh, we had another one of those. I forgot we had already crafted it. That's all right, we'll definitely use it. We're going to need some gold, which we actually have on us. Oh, the other thing, we might actually run out of redstone. So let's go over here, take this. Whoops. Go ahead. Take these. Looks like we're going to need to go with that other hammer. Yes. I wish I had um, smelt or er, sifted some sand through those rather than just gravel, but that's all right. Or and dust as well, for that matter. But now we have some more dust, so we can go ahead get some more resources here. Just really, what we need is redstone. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna try and finish up here is. Um, oh man, I have no inventory space. Do we have redstone though? Yes, we do. Okay. So I'm going to leave those on the floor for now. No worries. We made our dynamo. In fact, we can probably put this down. And that's not the direction, but that's okay for now. Uh, we can replace that in a bit. We'll grab our bucket if we can. And take the water this time, not the lava. Now we have an infinite source, which is nice. Okay. Pulverizer. Where were we? I always am looking over there, but I keep forgetting it's over here. So we have enough for two copper gears. Get those. In fact, let me go ahead and put some of this stuff away here. Not our food, though. All right. We're already running out of room in that chest. Um... We have the piston, we're going to need some flint, a couple flint here. And did we make that already? I believe we did. So we should, I think, be able to make the pulverizer now? Yes, we can. All right. Let's go ahead and go ahead and actually claim that quest. Where was it? Ada, I believe, yeah. So here it is. Claim that. All right, so we have a pulverizer now. Uh, so what we can do is simply, for now, put that there, put this here. Again, this is going to be very temporary. Um, this is just sort of a proof of concept. 
actually can we make I think the crescent hammer requires invar no it's just tin do we have another tin uh, tin yes we do perfect actually so yeah let's go ahead get some tin the other thing we're gonna need to do is take some of this put it in here all right so we have tin we have the iron let's quickly make this crescent hammer and we can rotate machines did not mean to do that all right now we can take our clay bucket fill this with water I believe it takes four buckets yep and let's grab a stack of coal here and exactly yeah now we are generating power for the pulverizer now we should be able to if I am correct yes take our chunks now this should turn this into two dust I believe and then we can smelt those two dust and double our ores um, so I think with this I'm gonna go ahead and um, wrap up the episode um, thank you guys for watching again if you made it this far I'm hoping to upload pretty regularly every day actually if possible um, depending on how my schedule permits it um, but yeah I'm actually really enjoying this mod pack um, today we did made pretty good progress set up ore doubling and already have power generation in uh, episode 2 which is awesome I might um, in between this episode and next one I'm probably going to sift for some more resources maybe upgrade our storage or something somehow um, make organize a little bit better um, make this look better uh, and I'm looking at probably gonna make it an, an aqueous accumulator so this can always have um, power uh, or water which so it can always produce power um, but yeah thank you again so much for watching guys um, if you enjoyed the video if you're enjoying the series go ahead and give me a like or comment and uh, subscribe if you haven't already um, but yeah I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching look forward to the next one